Hi Aries, welcome to your What They Aren't Telling You reading for February 2020. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below, as well as the Recommend a Reader shout out, which goes to Frida Tarot. Love and support to her. Check her out. Show her some love and support. This is intended to be a romantic love reading, but it may resonate in other areas of your life, and it does uh, apply to Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for my readings. Some people do those separately, but for me, this is a general blanket type. <laughs> All right, Aries, what do we got here? What they aren't telling you, Aries. What do we got for Aries? What aren't they telling you? All right, page of wands. Okay. Eight of pentacles. King of swords. I'm going to move this over here a little bit. All right. And the requisite cat hair. Awesome. Eight of pentacles. King of swords. The emperor. That could be Aries. This could be Gemini. This is where I run into trouble here. i got to scoot it up. And have the light really shine on it. Awesome. Six of wands. Five of Cups. Can you see that? Not really. Calibrating. Two of Wands. All right. We got it. All right. There we go. Okay. All right. So... We got the Eight of Wands and the King of Swords here. Anything? Okay, so we got Aries and we got Taurus right here. All right, so what's this Eight of Wands about? Uh, Eight of Pentacles, sorry. What's this Eight of Pentacles about? Hmm. What's this Eight of Pentacles about? Someone's at the crossroads, I'll tell you that much. What's this Eight of Pentacles about? Are you kind of there too? Like you're kind of hoping, but only if they are? Oh, what's this Eight of Pentacles about? Eight of Cups. Uh, crossroads right there. I think someone's trying to decide if they're going to um, want to like work this out or not. What they're... Let's see. What they're going to want to... That one flipped. Well, oh, actually it was a open-ended Wheel of Fortune. This is someone... It just feels that way. I mean, we're going to get into it, but what's this King of Swords about for Aries? It's King of Swords. Queen of Swords, hokey dokey. That feels like the marriage. What's this? It doesn't have to be, but there's a definite connection there. Um, I this is honestly this is someone that. Well, okay, six of wands. We got we definitely have it's just crossroads. This is six of wands here. Even if you're in separation or connection, this is someone that they're they're doing this. Mm, mm, mm. Strength that could be Leo. Pardon me. My little guy hopped up here. All right, so we got six of wands and strength. What's this five of cups about for Aries? The emperor. Hmm, it can very well be you, right? What's this hierophant about? Whoopsie. What's this hierophant about? All right, here's the thing. This is, I think this is someone telling you um, that they want to give it some time and they want to think about how they feel about things. They're not quite decided. They're definitely at a turning point. It's pivotal, but they're not, they're really actually at the crossroads. Um, I think this is someone that's, it feels like they're trying to find the least possible way to part um, almost like they're kind of wanting to let you down easy or get off easy, like get be let down easy. I, it's like they, they wanted, it's like they're wanting a break under the guise of, well, I need to find what I want to do, or I need to, I need to just recoup and think about my next move. And I just, I really want to know that I can do things on my own, or I just need to know, I need to figure out what I want first. And that's all very well and valid, except if they're really just trying to get out of something. Then it's like, why don't you just tell me? But I'm sure they have their reasons, right? Okay. What's this two of wands? Justice. Libra. So we got Aries twice here. Okay. So this, hmm. 
I feel like they're telling you that they want it to be about you two kind of working on this together, but separately. And yet, I think this is someone that's just wanting to buy some time alone. I think they want some time to think about what their next move is going to be. I think they're, there's some sadness and disappointment that they're not telling you about. Um, and I think they're looking to see what's going to shake out. But this is someone that's not in, doesn't want to make a decision about anything. They want time to themselves. Um, they don't, this is not somebody that has a can do attitude. They're, if they're telling you that, yeah, I want to work things out. We just have to give it some time and be patient. What they're not telling you is that they're, they're hurt. They're feeling like they just need to go away and be by themselves. And we're like, cause they feel like they can't, they can only count on themselves right now. Or they don't, it feels like they don't think the connection is there and they're wanting to decide what their next move is. And it's like they're going, so they're want, they're telling you that they want to buy some time so they can think about things. But what they're not telling you is that they don't know what their next move is because they're hurt and they're sad and they're just feeling like this connection has really let me down and I don't know if it's reparable. I don't know if we can fix this, if I can fix this. I don't know if I want to fix this. I think they're looking for what the best move is or what um, they keep... It, it's like they keep telling you that, well, we have to give it time. I'm going to be patient or we have to have patience or you have to have patience as a way to distance themselves because they're really trying to buy themselves time to think about what their next move is going to be and if this is something that they want and if they want to um, keep going with. What's this emperor about? The world. Okay. What else for this emperor here? Okay. Wow. All right, Aries. <laughs> the Emperor of the World and the Magician. Uh, whatever you want to do right now, you have definitely have the power. And it could very well be that um, you're done with this and you've got to get to getting because you've got a lot waiting for you. Um, hmm. So is this person asking to give them time? I don't if they are, I feel like you're just kind of like, you know, I don't really need to give you time. I think we're good. Um, hmm. What would Aries person say to them right now? What would Aries person say to them? Okay. So it says no other compares to you. Is this then disappointment that they feel? Are they asking you um, very optimistically? So might I add, you know what? Just let's give it time. Don't walk away yet. Let's work on this. I want to work this out. So then the them asking for time and being patient before is now a we thing. They want you to not be too hasty. Let's work this out. Let's talk. You know, you got to give this kind of stuff time. Um, be patient with me. You know, we can grow back into where we once were. And I, I feel like you're already one foot out the door. And... And we've got King of Swords, Queen of Swords, and the Emperor here. And the, this is all about... Uh, if you have ended it and walked away and you're on to something new, this is somebody that is still grieving. Well, they're grieving over that. But they're probably still trying to have some connection with you. Probably still trying to negotiate or barter with you after an ending. And they don't want you to close the door on this. Um... It might be that they're acting like everything's fine and we can be friends and yeah, it's great. I'm good. You're good. I'm good. We're good. They're not. You got disappointment here. You got someone trying to figure out what their next move is about you. And I, I don't know that they realize that there's not a next move because I think you're done. I think, I think you're, I think you're done, Aries. You're in a position to have whatever you want do whatever you want it's a like a pretty much a clean slate for you and i think they're trying to, to find a way to still be relevant with you i think this has been a little uh been hard on them what else for aries what else for aries Ooh. <laughs> okay so this says magic and we've got the magician here so yeah, you're in creative mode. You're in manifesting mode. You can have and do anything you want um, at this point. You're, it's like you've got a clean slate in front of you and you've got like this upsurge of energy coming. I don't know what's going on astrologically, celestially, all that.
but from now until about mid-March, you've got like this upsurge um, of energy, of things being in flow or in sync. So take advantage of it. It's almost like you're going to be riding this wave. <laughs> what else for Aries? What else for Aries? I think this is someone that's... Um, okay, so that was two. I think this is someone that was advocating... Like, don't walk away yet. We got a good thing. We can get it back. And you're just like, no, no, no. I don't want to, I don't want to provide for you anymore. I don't want to be the perfect partner for you and myself. Like I, I just, you're, it really feels like you, for the areas that I'm reading for, you have, um, whatever you did with this person that they're trying to leverage for you to stay, you're like, I can do that for myself. And I have been. So this, I think we should just, you know, go our separate ways. Um, the star and that could be Aquarius and four of pentacles. I was going to put pick one and then both of them came out. So this is all about your decision is final and you're looking to the future, looking to get out from under this situation and kind of breathe a little bit, have some fun, get out there and see what the world's about and make your own way. And the magic awaits. So get to getting because you've got some... You, you got, you're going to be busy. <laughs> You've got some stuff to do. <laughs> Let me put these back over here. Okay. Got my little space heater on. I hope you can't hear it, but sometimes it gets a little crowded. <laughs> That's for Aries. Okay. We got for Aries. All right. Seven of Swords. Okay, and we've got four of pentacles again. So this very well could be because somebody um, has done something, uh, you know, an act of betrayal, deceit, lies, cheated, um, lied to you, kept things from you, was, you know, just being deceitful and you're like, no. Um, this could be that you have found something new that you want to do and you're, you're pretty set on that. That was against the relationship. It could be you that cheated, it could be them that cheated. But the point is... Um, this is just kind of a very decisive act to do what you're going to do and like putting your foot down and like, nope. And this would feel, this could be one of two things. Um, well, one of three things actually. It could just be the decisive act in general and deciding that my mind's made up. This is what I'm doing. And you've been strategizing for a while. You might not be telling them everything. You might be doing it in secret. It's like kind of a, um, a strategic exit and your mind's made up. Or it could be someone um, has cheated and that's why your mind's made up. Like someone's cheated and in light of that, you're just like putting your foot down. You've gone into self-protective mode and nope, I am ducking out of this to get away and heal. Um, or it could be that you have found something else or someone else and your mind's made up and that's what you want and you're closing the door on this. It feels like because of this, the relationship was kind of on its way out anyway. And this kind of just was like, okay, that's it. I'm done. Out. I'm out. And this has been a much easier transition for you. Like you're ready. You're like looking to the future and you're ready and like let the magic happen. And your person's just like, oh man, what happened? So they're not going to be, um, they're not going to be very keen to let you go very quickly. So expect more of them reaching out and trying to barter and negotiate. Just saying. All right. Aries, I hope this was helpful and I hope to see you in the next reading. Thank you for stopping by. Um, love to you this February. Valentine's Day is coming up. Woo! Uh, you take care.